Hi everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my sculpting channel. In this video, I'm going to explain to you about these most recent pet sculptures that I created for a couple in Colorado. Unfortunately, one of their fur babies passed away. They requested me to immortalize all of their four dogs. In the beginning, they wanted me to sculpt each dog individually. I kind of wanted to incorporate all these dogs in one piece so nothing's left out. So I told this couple, I said, you know what, okay, I'm going to challenge myself. What you're seeing here is the actual piece that I just finished. I start with information. So basically I ask, what's the name of your pet? The breed of your pet? How big you want the sculptures to be? So the second questions that I ask, what are the specific features the person wants to show in that sculpture? With these four dogs, they all have different facial expressions. These are what made them unique for the pet owner, right? The creation of these sculptures are the results of multiple pictures combined together. It didn't come out from one picture because there's no way that they're all sitting like this in one picture and holding their toys. But now I was planning the piece. This is how I did it. I cropped all the dog pictures and put it on a Photoshop. This is Milo. According to Milo's parents, he has a teddy bear look, playful and curious expression. He has a dragon toy, but Milo's parents wanted me to make him smile and make sure that the teeth are showing because Milo's underbite is also an important feature that we want to show. It's hard to show those features if there's a toy in the mouth. This is Lucy. She's supposed to have a bossy face, bossy expression. It doesn't make sense if she's smiling and have a bossy look. Oh, well, kind of. The most important thing with this dog right here are the white area on the eyeballs because that's that's her main feature she's being protective of her toy smiling crooked teeth and the two wings on the back this is chopper i suggested wearing some kind of clothing just to add more character into the whole piece the chopper's favorite toy is the aflac duck chopper has a cropped tail that's it for chopper and the last is monroe they told me monroe has a favorite and it's his toy cow all these toys in real life they're not like this small for their proportion obviously i can't really sculpt that big because it's gonna be super heavy and it's gonna it's gonna be really pricey to to do that's what i really like about this craft it's so personal i'm able to help people heal from loss of a pet by recreating their piece once in a while when i create a pet sculpture like this and i recorded a sculpting process i may record a separate video of the explanation of the piece i figure out that a lot of people actually click off especially they don't know me yet so if i put a lot of talking in that video they ended up not watching it if you haven't seen the video of me sculpting this piece watch it go to my channel and look for the actual sculpting process of this this piece i think that's it i think i've said enough please don't forget to subscribe to my channel the more you watch my videos you're gonna learn a lot of valuable lessons that you can apply in real life check out my books links are in the description below watch my family friendly sculpting show every friday you're gonna see me talk to dogs and they talk back and i sing and i sculpt and whatever it is and just have fun see you again next friday